Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your own Reddit account. If you're a business owner and you're interested in using Reddit, but it's just a bit too complicated, I'm gonna show you how to use Reddit, how to set it up, super easy. Watch this. All right, guys, so I just want to give you just a brief overview of what Reddit is and how it's set up. Super easy. So what we're going to do is just log into the Reddit page and it's set up something very similar like Facebook, right? This is the new Reddit and it's very it's a very familiar interface. The top here are just um, trending stories. That's all that is, right? Now, each story underneath has what's called upvotes and downvotes. So you post the story, people like it, you'll either get upvotes or downvotes on that story. The more upvotes you get, the higher you go to the top of the page. On the right side is something called subreddits. Don't get overwhelmed. I'm going to show you what they are. But for right now, I'm just giving you the overview as to what the page looks like. So in the next slide, I'm going to show you how to sign up for your first Reddit account. All right, guys. So once you go to reddit.com, you come over to the right side and you just click sign up. Now, Reddit makes it super easy. If you have a Google account or you have an Apple account, you just sign in with those two accounts. Or you could use your current email if you want to use a Hotmail address or so on and so forth. I'm going to use my Google account, so I just suggest you use whatever account, either Google, Apple, or email account, and I'll meet you on the other side. All right, guys, so now we're logged into your Reddit account. You'll notice that I haven't logged into my Reddit account in a while, and I have a message saying that they suspended my account due to suspicious activity. I need to reset my password. I sent a password request uh, several times and uh, I'm waiting for it to come through, but I didn't want to hold up the lesson. So let's go from left to right. If you notice in the drop down, it starts off on your home page. And let's try to relate it to a Facebook page, right? You logged into your Facebook, it's something very, very familiar. This is your home page. Now, if you notice when you hit your drop down, you could go to all popular feeds. So if I just click that, Anything that's trending, anything that's popular, you'll be able to see it. So if you're a Yenta and you want to see what's going on and you'll be popular, you know, you'll click that. Same thing with all. These are just random feeds, right? So if you have nothing to do, you could do that. But let's go down to communities. So evidently, these are some communities that I probably set up years ago when I signed up to Reddit. And if I click business ideas, everything in this Reddit community has to do with business ideas, All right? So if I want to find out, get any business ideas, everything is here, All right? So if I'm into sports or if I'm into cooking or if I'm into SEO, I'll show you later on how to sign up, but I'm just showing you on the left side what this is all about. Fair enough? All right, we're making it easy. We're making it easy. Okay. The next thing is on top is the search bar. So if I want to find, about, find out about my New York Mets, I will click the search bar and everything that has to do with the New York Mets come up here and I could join different communities where they're speaking about baseball, that are speaking about business, and so on and so forth. Next to the search bar is the popular, right? We went over that, and we also went over all, so this is just another place to do it, another place to check it. You could go Reddit Live, so like people go Facebook Live and Instagram Live, you could do a Reddit Live. And you could chat with other Reddit users. You could email other Reddit users. And you could also create a post. I'm going to click that real quick. When you click a post, it's very similar to creating a Facebook post. You could either click something, click a title, put something that you want to speak about, add an image and or a link. Now, 
One thing that's a little bit different than with Reddit as opposed to Facebook is that every group has rules. So before you post anything, look over to the right side and see if you're, uh, if you're abiding by the rules of the community. When you get into what's called subreddits, you know, like, like my Mets group or my business group that I showed you before, each group is going to have rules. Most, most of the time, the rule is that you cannot self-promote. Now, uh, I want to just tell you a short story. I have been a business owner, a, a uh, website design and uh, SEO business uh, designer, uh, SEO business for over 20 years. And my first maybe 15 years, my slogan was Mindsaw. Want to buy it? <laughs> you know, basically, we're the best. We're, uh, we've been in business. We're family owned. And, uh, you know, buy, buy from us and nothing really happened. I did not start growing my business until I started creating YouTube videos on how to help people. So what does that have to do with you? Well, if you're a local roofer, you may wanna, you may wanna create a video and or a post, the three things to look for for a local roofer uh, if you're going to have uh, water damage. How do, you, how do you know if you have water damage? Three things to look for. And if you're a DUI lawyer, you may want to say uh, three things you need to know before you get, when you get pulled over for a DUI. Three things you need to know. And you can either create a YouTube video on that. You could do a live, a Reddit live. But you want to post in communities uh, helpful videos. And I know some of you may be thinking right now, well, why do I want to do that? I, I, I just want, like, like for me, it was like, look, I just want to make the sale. I just, want to, I just want to work with people. Why do I have to? Well, look, people work with people who they like and trust. I have uh, probably close to 100 YouTube videos. And people have built a relationship with me. They know the sports teams that I like. They know the foods that I like. They know where I live. And they've built a relationship with me. People only do business these days with people that they like and trust. If they like and trust you, they'll do business with you. The way to get people to like and trust you is to create help posts, or even better yet, help videos. All right? That makes sense, right? Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Now, there are something called coins. And I don't want to get too technical. Don't get bogged down. This isn't so hard, right? We got it so far. Is you just click the coins and you could buy coins for your community. And some coins, the amount of coins will let you not see ads and upvote some of your posts. But we're not going to worry about that right now, right? This is just an overview as to how to use Reddit. That's all this is. Now, the other thing I want you to know and just briefly know is something called karma. Karma basically is that you created a post, right? And it's helping the community and you get certain amount of karma points. The issue is, is that some communities will not let you post or respond until you have 10 karma posts. Uh, points. Basically, what it's saying is, is Reddit thinks that you're a good guy or a good girl, and you know you abide by all the rules and you've received karma points. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to receive karma points. How do you get karma points so you're able to post and respond in communities? All right, guys. So a way to get karma is to, I'm going to show you two ways. Very, very simple. And like I said, I'm trying to keep it very light and very simple. Just go up to the search bar and type in free karma and join the group that says free karma. Now, once you join, you just want to uplo upload a video or a picture of yourself and uh, something kind of cheesy, just basically saying, hey guys, I'm just new here. I need some karma to post in other groups or you know, uh, please help me by giving me karma and that type of stuff, right? So because you want at least, you know, 10 karma points because most groups won't let you join without 10 
comma group uh, points, right? Some are even higher. And what that does is it just basically keeps out the spam out of these, out of these groups. Subreddits are just groups, all right? Now, another way to do it is to, you know, if you went into the search bar here and you just typed in business, you'll notice that in some groups, once you join, you'll notice that, that some groups, you won't need that many comma points to, to join, all right? And each one has their own rules. You just need to read the rules and it'll tell you how many comma points you need and so on and so forth, okay? Now, here's what I suggest in the beginning. In the beginning, just join three groups. Get the get get used to using um, uh, Reddit. Don't promote. Don't say we're the best. Just get used to using it. Make comments on other people's Reddits. Sign up with the free comma. Right, so you'll start accumulating comma points at least ten. So this way you'll be able to post and respond. And just join one to three groups, the ones that you're most interested in. And something that I noticed is that, you know, sometimes I can't figure something out, but when I relate it to money, all of a sudden my, my, my uh, arithmetic is real good, <laughs> you know? So sometimes you won't be able to fill it, figure it out if you're a roofer or a DUI lawyer or an electrician, but... Uh, get into a group that you're comfortable with, like maybe sports or cooking, one of your hobbies or guitar, right? When, 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 when it's something fun, somehow there's a portion in your brain that kind of just opens up and, you know, you're able to understand it better. I would suggest for the first week, just get used to it. Now, like I said, uh, Reddit can be a great place to get new business. But the way I said it is by creating posts and answering people's questions, building trust, right? Building trust with clients and, and, and having clients like you, potential clients liking you. If they like and trust you, they're more likely to do business with you rather than just, uh, uh, just search somebody on the web and work with a stranger. One of the short stories that I want to tell before moving from New York to Florida is uh, I found a fellow's post on, he's a real, he was a realtor in Tampa, and he was so good at explaining Tampa and the different areas. And if, if you have children, this is where you want to move. And if you, you know, if you have a business, this is where you move. And if you want, you're retired, this is a great place to move. That if I were to buy down here, I would have used him as his as my realtor. I already built a relationship with him. And that's what you want to do here. The days of just putting up a website and telling people visit us on the web. You know, unless you're doing specialty marketing like I do in the Google 3 pack using the DUI lawyer as a uh as an example, somebody needs a DUI lawyer, they see that you have uh, 50 five-star reviews, and they also notice that you're only 1.5 miles away from them, there's a good chance that they'll click you. However, in other industries, people are looking for people that they like and they trust. And same thing with DUI. They're looking for people that they like and trust. And a good way of doing it is definitely creating a YouTube video as well as creating, uh, getting involved in Reddit, getting involved in these forums where there's a lot of people speaking about your subject. Start with subjects that are fun to you. New York Mets, guitar, baseball, hockey, whatever you like, boxing, cooking, whatever you like and you'll be able to understand Reddit a lot easier. I kind of hope that, that this video helped you and uh, leave a comment below if it, if it helped you. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. At the end of the month, I am giving a, uh, this book away, which is called YouTube Secrets 2020. It's the book, one of the books that kind of helped me uh, get going on YouTube, and it has a lot of good 
uh, tips to get started on YouTube. I'm giving it away for free. Just put in the comments section, I subscribed. At the end of the month, I'll pick somebody, I'll send you the book. Uh, I'll send you the book at no charge. You'll just give me your address and I'll shoot the book over. I'm also going to write a, a special note inside the book for you. So I hope this video helped you. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.